your friends, welcome back to my channel, or if it's your first time here, hi, my name is Melissa or Missa, welcome. Today I'm going on a date, I think it's this fifth, sixth date? Fifth or sixth date with this boy. Ugh, boys, they're so gross. Uh, and we're gonna get ready for it. I'm gonna look very ugly in a second, but it's how I wake up, so deal with it. And then this is the outcome of it. Is it, is it groundbreaking makeup? No, but I thought I'd do a wee bit of colour for my smoky out wing that I always do, but with a bit of cream, because he's a Celtic fan, which is very disappointing. But there we are, Romeo and Juliet. Am I right? Sponsored by Monster. Anyway, it's already 12 minutes past three. I'm supposed to be at his for four. It takes me an hour to drive there, so I'm gonna go. So yeah, uh, that's a bad segue. Stick around if you wanted to see me answer some questions and put some makeup on and do this very easy look which I think looks more involved than it actually is and it doesn't even have to look good because it's just smoky and cool. Okay, I'm gonna piss off. Bye! Cam it, sir! Cam it, Jenny! Uh, oh. oh, you are seeing me at my best. Just how I like it. Just how I like it. Uh, right, at least get my fringe out of my face. Obviously. And my lord. Right, this toy's gonna have to go in another room. It's gonna have to go in another room. It is. We don't need a potato right here. We don't. I don't need your opinion for your information. We just had a very pleasant dance party together. Sausage is obsessed with his new toy but it's very very noisy. I am probably gonna just go put it in another room so that he cannot upset us. I don't want Alexis. It's kind of ugly. I'm gonna take my Revlon and Candid to start. I know kind of what I'm doing with my eyes but I might do a different colour, I might, we don't know. But I'm going to start off with Revlon Candid because that is always my first step. This is in the shade 010 Vanilla. Let's try my new pre mark path and see if they're any good because I'm going to set my eye base actually. These were £2 and I just couldn't not get them for £2. £2 seems really cheap, like really cheap. Even though pre marks like more expensive these days. There's two. There's two. I'm going to use the pink one. Do they feel as luscious and beautiful as the Trugwell? No. Is the stitching down the side a little bit scratchy? Yes. The Trugwell one is not. It's not at all scratchy. Come a bit closer so you can bask in my, my beauty. Look, don't be jealous. All right? Doesn't suit you. I'm going to take my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder because I know I'm going to set my face with it and just set my eyeballs. Hoping the washing machine finishes soon. I did ask for some questions on Instagram. I don't know if any of, like I did it like two minutes ago. So I don't know if we've got any yet or if we'll even get any. So maybe I'll answer some of those. Got to talk loud because the washing machine, I need to go shut the kitchen door, don't I? I am really enjoying the Stay Matte Powder again. I think it's great. And then I'm gonna take my makeup tip. Definitely gonna do some kind of winged look because A, they're really fast and easy but like effective and B, I was complimented on this eye makeup when I did it the other day. But it will be a variation. Skip out. I can't say in a mirror. There's a wallaby on the row. Tito's. What's wrong? I can't believe how needy cats are. I genuinely never thought cats were needy until my boys. What am I feeling? Am I feeling browns? Am I feeling greys? Am I feeling greens? Green would be dangerous because I don't play with greens that much, do I? Oh, we could use the Muse. I think it's back in stock. Or did it sell out again? I don't know, but it's got some like grungy-ish greens and mustards in it. Right, let's use the Muse. Okay, we've decided. <laughs> I'm going to use my Huda Beauty Creamy Coal in the brown, very brown it's called. I got these the other day and I got to say, lovely. But Huda knows how to do eyeliners. She really does. Uh, this is just going to be a base that I'm going to smudge. So it's not that big a deal. It don't have to be that neat. I'm just going to smudge this a little bit. It doesn't even have to be that smudged because I'm going to go over with eyeshadow. But I like to smudge it a pinch. This is like the fastest, easiest eye look I ever do. But it's effective. These uh, stay on the waterline as well. I've worn them a couple of days at work and they've still been there by the end of the day. So I'm really looking for a nice coaly pencil. 
That was a bit high. Then maybe think about the Huda. Gosh, they're very different shapes though. This eyeliner. I mean, this one goes out, this one goes up. Hold on, let me adjust it slightly. Uh, does that look better? I don't know. You see? Very easy to begin with. And then, let's take another little fat fluffy brush that's definitely got black eyeshadow on it. Well, my towel will be fine. And we're doing greens. Greens and brown. Mm. Am I going to be able to blend that in? I don't want to use this pine shade because it makes me feel a bit depressed. Let's take, let's take fig. I don't know if I'm going to be able to blend fig into greens, but we can try. This is just going to kind of set that and then make it easier to smudge. I think tonight, what is it, fifth date? Sixth date? Uh, we're just going to go for dinner, movie, chill out, you know? Looking forward to it. I'm working tomorrow. So I'll just drive home late from Glasgow and uh, sleep in my own nice cuddly bed with my cuddly little boys. I don't think I might have any other news, like any other drama, but I really feel like I have nothing to, to tell you. So this might be a really crappy get ready with me, I'm sorry. I don't have any tea to spill. Um, gorgeous. Right, I might have to actually move to my clean brushes just so that we're not putting like green on with a pink brush. I'm gonna try and use the shade Willow down here with fig. I don't know if this is gonna work. I might have to wipe this off. And if I have to wipe this off, by the way, my eyes are gonna water uncontrollably and I will not be able to do any makeup. And so we M506. I just want this kind of gr- Oh, that, uh, that was pigmented. I just want it grungy and smoky though. So actually this might all be okay. That is, how is that overtaken? That fig shade, that's amazing. Like in a good way. I'm just hoping I get some like questions because then that'll make this a bit more interesting. <laughs> you want to film, but you don't have anything to say. That's me today. This could just be like a voiceover, but wow, I'm impressed by this willow shade. I did not think it was going to give me this much pigment and I did not think I'd be able to blend it at all with fig, but we're good. We are good. I've been doing a lot of blue looks recently. I like looked at my Instagram feed when I posted a picture because I had a new video out and I was like, oh, everything I've done is blue or blue and purple or purple or purpley blues or bluey purples. I was like, I need to play with a different color. I'm wondering if I have any green liner I can do my inner corner wing with. We'll see. Uh, what next? Then I'll take the shade. Yeah, I suppose. That's okay. Okay. It might be okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I just don't want it to be too like bright green. I want the grunge. I'm panicking. I'm panicking because I don't really like green. And then I'm going to take, I think I'll take Admire, which is like a mustard yellowish green. But it's the kind of tone I like. I don't know if this dude's ever seen me with like colour on. I think he's only ever seen me like very neutral makeup. Not natural, but certainly just like neutral tones. But I know he does not mind a little bit of makeup. You meet some men on dating apps, like you chat to them and they're like, oh, I'm not, oh, I don't really like girls in like makeup. And I'm like, okay, well, why are you chatting to me then? You've literally seen all my pictures. I am clarty. Yeah, I obviously put up makeupless pictures, but for the vast majority of the time I'm clarty, so. And then they, they don't give up though. They still chat to you and I'm like, why are you chatting to me? You've just told me you don't like me in makeup and I'm gonna be in makeup, so. Am I loving this? No, it's okay. I'm gonna take a bit of this water lily just cause it's such a fun color. And maybe work that in a little. This look really comes together with the inner corner wing and the lash. It always looks a little bit boring at this stage. You can do this with literally any colours, obviously. And it works so beautifully. A wee liner brush, and I'll take that fig again. Just all the way to the inner corner. And actually, I'll just go all the way across with it, just to deepen up my lash line. I'm gonna go move this toy to the living room. Why? Why? Okay. And then do we want a bit of shimmer? Do we? Do we want to put a tiny bit of this? Maybe just in the center. It's done now. It's too late now. I've done it. I've done it. Just to catch the light in the center. Oh, it's pretty. It is pretty. I don't hate green, but I do hate green, but I don't hate green. Mostly in the center. Kind of bringing it out a wee bit. That's Gorgina, that colour. Okay, and then we need a bit of glitter, I think, because this is not that exciting, is it? Let's use me L'Oreal one, because it's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. We gotta catch. 
on a shelf. We gotta get on a shelf. I'm gonna paint it onto a brush. And then just kind of put it all over the lid. This doesn't need to be contained in one area. This can just go forth, spread its wings, and bring joy to all of America. Is my one running out? I think so. <coughs> yeah, these on Amazon, by the way, and they're beautiful. I'm just trying to add a smattering so that it catches the light. Look at this spiderkle. Let me throw on an inner corner wing. I am gonna do it with a brown eyeliner. I think that will look better than black. I don't think I'm gonna be able to film it very well. I never can. Oh, that one is perfect and stunning and beautiful and I'm never going to be able to recreate that on the other side. I'm gonna try. Wildly not the same, wildly. This one goes out, this one goes down. Right, let me fix it. Stephanie Harlow's like doing a three part series on Lucy Levy and it's so interesting. You're not having my sponge. I'm gonna prime with Benefit Professional because I'm trying to go through my collection and use everything because my collection is horribly big and it, it needs to be smalled basically. Oh, I also washed off all my fallout and I hung up my washing. Since you saw me last, call me a domestic goddess. <laughs> I've always quite liked how professional feels. It doesn't feel silicone, it feels quite powdery when you like blend it in. Betty, betty, betty. I've checked to see if we've got any questions. We've got a few. We've got a few already. That's nice, isn't it? Uh, Kim says, how are you? Also, what's your go-to album or music you listen to to pump up your mood? Chase and status, baby. Drum and bass. House. Anything I can dance to, basically. It's always gonna be my first choice. Okay, that is on. And then I'm going to use a wee bit on. I'll put, a t I'll put a touch on. Just a wee tadger. I'll use my L'Oreal Infallible 32 hour fresh wear in the shade 20 ivory. Just a wee blob. Hair on my bra. I don't really want to put foundation on today but at the same time it's going to make a much better like before and after picture so we'll do the foundation. I quite like this one. Very inoffensive. Covers up. Does what you need a foundation to do but it's not heavy. It's not expensive, it's just nice. Stacy says, places that you would like to visit on your bucket list. Uh, America, basically I wanna go to Texas, I wanna go to New Orleans, I wanna go to Colorado. I do a pit stop in New York, but honestly the big cities don't really appeal to me. I prefer like country and like history. I want to go to Vesuvia and Pompeii and I wouldn't mind, I was gonna say the Maldives, but actually I get really bored sitting in the sun after like two minutes. So a Maldives holiday would probably be wasted on me. I'd like to go back to Cornwall. <laughs> I enjoyed Cornwall back in 2006. I'm gonna take then my IRL concealer. This honestly feels like high end. The more I play with it, the more I'm like, this concealer is really, really good. Like really good. I might go and purchase another like couple just so that I don't run out of them. What is wrong? So I've got a few spots on me too. And oh, and in having this, it means I'm not using up my Huda one as fast, which I like. Because obviously that's my favourite. Any brand you feel have gone massively downhill. Um, ABH is really, really, really boring now. Like, I don't think they've launched anything that exciting. I still like stuff from the brand. Like, one of my favourite lipsticks is from ABH. Still like their brow stuff. Still like the ABH stuff I've got, but I think they're really boring and not exciting anymore. Sorry, Sausage is licking himself, like, right behind the microphone. Right, no, no. You don't need to steal everything with your little paws. Okay, I really need a b-roll camera. Let's like, just like here shooting onto my desk so you can see what the cats get up to. They are so annoying and, and chaotic. I mean, I live for it. It's hilarious. Any travel or holiday plans? I'm hoping to see Anne-Marie quite soon. She is a very dear friend. She lives in Ireland, Northern Ireland. Been to Ireland quite a few times. Uh, it's still a holiday though, isn't it? Uh, and we are having our annual sausage meetups, the Sausages of Patreons. We're having our annual one this year in Manchester. So I'm really excited about that because hopefully it means a few more English sausages will be able to come. And I think we even have sausages coming from Australia, America again. Like obviously we did it last year and it was awesome. So yeah, Manchester this year, that's like travel plans. And that'll be a holiday as well, won't it? But to be honest, I don't know how long I can go for because my pal that usually looks after the boys for me. She's going on holiday. So I might just nip down for like three days and just leave the boys to fend for themselves. I'm kidding. <laughs> 
I'm hoping my neighbour would pop in and feed them and if she couldn't then I would just go down for a day basically. Just to see as many people as possible because there's no way I'm leaving the boys. Like it's just not happening. I'm not doing it. Do you know what other brands massively gone downhill? But it's been going on for a few years now. It's Urban Decay. Look how boring are Urban Decay now. Why is my battery gonna die? I'm only filming for like 20 minutes. I'm gonna throw on my full freckles with my Colourpop pens. My battery will die by the way. And then I'm gonna set my face, but I'm gonna do some like under freckles for I feel like it does help with like longevity of the freckles. Don't think this man's seen me without, f no he has. Obviously he has. I've been around him with no makeup on. But I wonder if that was, I wonder if you even realised. Oh, she's got no freckles with no makeup on. Yeah, I'll quickly powder with my Maybelline Stay Matte. Nope, Rimmel Stay Matte and then I'll be back. I'm all powdered but I feel like I look very matte and very flat so I'm going to use Glow Milk Mini Mist. I actually have two full size bottles of this but I'm obviously going to finish this one up first. It's literally heaven to spray on, it's never in stock on Beauty Bay, ever. Vape's going crazy. Sometimes it just like starts vaping itself and I'm like mm, this might blow up my house. Did I press record? I did. I pressed record. You've been sitting in the sun. Getting the sunshine. Look at those legs. Getting the sunshine on your fur, haven't you? Don't know why you yell at me to get you up and then you just leave me. Very offensive. I'm going to use my Shein bronzer because I adore it and I can't stop using it. It's in Dawn Glow, I'm sure. Yes, Dawn Glow. Do you know what? I like the look of the packaging, like the like acrylicness. Well, it's just plastic, but you know what I mean? I don't like it's got a big bubble on the top because I like to take off excess product in the roof and, and I feel like that bubble gets in the way. I'm gonna start on my schnoz where I've got my freckle. There we go, he's gone up to this bed. That's good boy. This is just a very pale nice bronzer. There's actually a shade paler than this for anyone that is even paler than me. Which is hard, but also not impossible. This bronzer is worth its weight in gold. Like, I can't believe how good it is. I should really use my natural collection one again today, shouldn't I? But I kind of just want to use products that I know and love, just because it's a date. Like, I've been reaching for this over my hula light. I'm going to use my Kevin Aquan. I was trying to find this after I'd used it, and I couldn't. I could only find, like, the contour powder on its own. It's, like, £37 or something. And I know I will end up purchasing it when this one is running low, because the colour colour again is just phenomenal in the shade medium. I'd probably buy light online if I like was getting it for the first time but medium suits me so well. It's not dark like it's just a touch of contour but it's not like crazy. It's not again harsh. It's so nice on the schnozzle pops I've got to say. It's just a lovely colour and I do feel like contour like really good contours are pretty hard to come by. It's why I've like kept the same couple for years and years and years. I never find one that I like as much. I hate my chin. I'm obviously gonna use number 17 Copper Tone because it is maybe the most beautiful blush I've bought recently, like one of. I've bought a few lovely new blushes recently and it's gonna go with this look. It's just perfect. A few people have come back to me and said they went and bought it and they adore it. Just trust me. When I say it, just trust me. And it's like two pounds. Three pounds, I think it's two pounds fifty. It's literally the most ideal blush. Do you get stressed? And if, what do you do to be relaxed before a date? Oh, do I get stressed before a date? No, I usually just get quite excited. I get quite excited meeting new people, I like it. I get nervous. And if so, what do I do to calm my nerves? Well, if, I, if we're going out for drinks, I'll definitely have like a glass of wine or two beforehand, but I try not to have too much because then imagine you just like embarrassed yourself because you were like drunk. Um, but if it's not a drink date, I don't know. Honestly, I will Google what to talk about. Interesting things, because why not? You know what? Why not? Like, not all of us are the best conversationalists, me being all of us. <laughs> I'm just going over the top of this because it's going to tie into the eyes and honestly I cannot do my makeup without putting Nick Silence is Golden on. I mean I can, I don't like to do it. I've got some excess powder on contour my nose. Teeny bit more. Why you so me, 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 me. Uh, Which brand do you think has it all? Packaging, formulas, price. Okay, not including price, I was gonna say Huda because I love her big eyeshadow palettes, I love her base products, I love her uh, eye product, everything. I like everything pretty much that I've tried from Huda, but price point is not where it's at. I don't think any brand has all three, like, I don't think any brand does. I think that was a trick question, to be honest, Kerry. I want to be glowing, but I don't want to be too much. I want to be satin, but I don't want to be everything. Uh, let's go in with... Oh, that's too much. I'm going to go 
on my Mary Luminizer. I wear it a lot for work and it gives me a glow but it's not in shine. I really need to spend an evening washing all my face brushes and do I want? No. Will I do it in the next few months? Probably not. I hate washing brushes. This highlighter has stood the test of time. It is literally so good and so nice. And it's always been a cult product for a reason. Like it's just a lovely highlighter. Uh, a bit more setting spray I think. Let's use my Urban Decay All Nighter Ultra Glow just because it's running out. I might as well finish up. Mm. How is my base looking? Oh, it looks good. It looks good. It does. It does look good. Like, is it light and natural? No, but it looks good. It's glowy. I went tits on the freckles, didn't I? Try and dull those down a tiny bit with this sponge. Not really worried about my forehead freckles because I'm gonna have my fringe down. Let's put on a wee green eyeliner, shall we? What is this? NYX Chartreuse Flash. Oh, it's metallic. Oh, that's quite nice. I think a couple layers of that, like once it dries. Putting on a second layer. I like that it's shimmery actually. It's a bit more interesting. Probably like do another layer and then back with that Huda one on the inner corner and extended into that a wee bit. And then it just kind of, I don't know, I like how it keeps the like elongation of the inner corner. It makes it look quite sultry. I'm going to go throw my brows on and then we'll finish off the eyes together pretty much just by putting on a lash but I might do a bit of eyeshadow down below I'm not sure just put the tiniest bit of eyeshadow down here so we did it on this side because it'd be weird if I didn't tiny bit of fig right up at the lashes I don't know why I'm doing this but why not a uh, tiny bit of willow on the same brush and then a smidge of water lily and that is that not added anything else I think I'll put glitter down at the bottom I'm gonna take my Urban Decay Heavy Metal Liner in Distortion because my L'Oreal was really running out. I'm gonna just put glitter under my inner corner wing just so that there's a bit of sparkle to look at down here. Also the brush on this is just way more precise. It's easier to use. Also this helps if your wings don't match. And this look only calls for one lash which is my Shein favourite. Like really curled up and thick on the outside, thinner on the inside. Oh, They're so nice. Now, are they expensive? No, they're not. The note. So let, let me put it on and you're going to see why you need these Shein lashes. Like, they are everything. Hold on. You're really going to sit there and tell me that's not the perfect lash for one of these looks. Like, how dare you? Like, it, it's just perfect. It's, it's perfect. It's literally the perfect lash. I'm sorry. It's sexy. It's sultry. It does bits in my front, but I'm not going to say <laughs> it doesn't. <laughs> it doesn't. I'm going in with my Melt Bear lip liner. It's absolutely my favourite and it's totally running out. So if you can't see it in my hand, it's because it's really small. Uh, and I need to get more. Ow. I need to get more on people. I think they still have them. I hope they do. I can't put this on neatly, even while I'm not speaking and paying attention. I need to clean up. Look at the size of it. Like the cap's bigger than it. Tell me other people cannot put lipstick on neatly, right? It's so nice. It's too dark. I am gonna peel it out. But I need to set my face out here spray first. Okay, I'm gonna be honest, absolutely hate my makeup today. Absolutely do not like it, but I look better than when I started. It's because I use green. Green never fills me with that much joy, but I need to not have blue on my Instagram feed right now and purple. So I'm gonna go quickly do my hair a little bit and then we'll put a lipstick on and just pretend like everything's okay. It's not bad makeup, it's just not inspiring me to raise an army and overthrow the government, but we can't all have days where we feel like that. Okay, hair kind of did. I put up my two wee things. You can totally see my extensions in it, but I literally don't care because just having thicker, longer hair is, is, is enough for me. Which is something else, but we'll not talk about it. Right, I need to dial down my lips. I'm gonna use my peel wee. Hooked on you. It's one of my favorite lipsticks. Um, I got some more questions. Best 2023 movies. I don't think I've watched any movies in 2023. I've been watching uh, the, 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 like the Walking Dead again, Grey's Anatomy. I've been watching TV series. What will instantly give you the ick from a guy? I don't like when men use sunbeds. I don't find that very attractive. I don't like topless photos on their dating profile or if they're lying in bed and they've got their hat. What brand have you never tried but want to? Uh, probably Pat McGrath. 
I quite like the look of her blushes and some of the eyeshadow palettes, not all of them, but some of them. I'm not wanting to put this on very heavy, but just to totally mute down this lip liner. Uh, what would be in your doomsday prep end of the world bunker makeup bag? Probably just my Revlon Candid Concealer. It's literally so good. I can use it as foundation, concealer, primer. I love this lipstick, it's so pale. Like I could make it more pale by putting more on, you know? Mm. Oh, it's just perfect. It's perfect and it goes so nice with that bare lip liner. I need a paler lip liner, but the only other paler ones I've got are like too pale and I don't like them to be quite honest. Uh, I think that's us. I think just one more whack of the hairspray, especially to get this fringe. I need to actually take out these tape ins. I've worn them twice now and they're definitely at the end of their life, but I'm waiting. I'm waiting, I'm waiting. I can't take them out quite yet because I've got nothing to replace them with. So anyway, don't look at them too harshly. I'm gonna go get changed just to finish this off so that we're not in the old Jim Jamaroonies anymore, but makeup's fine. I mean, I think it looks nice, but am I obsessed with the green? No. I want to see if I can get like even more chartreuse on my waterline. Why is it gone? Why? I've got it. An old smudge now bunch in charisma. I'm gonna try this. Just wanna see if I can get a bit bolder just to make it more fun. I do like the next one. Has that made any difference? A little bit. Okay, now I'll go get changed and then we'll be done. I've been gone for like three hours. I had my lunch. I hoovered the whole house again. I got dressed. Oh, I did my nails. Like I've been gone for ages. I've been sitting on my bedroom floor playing with the cats. I am the world's biggest procrastinator, I think. Like genuinely, I think I am. Anyway, all my makeup's done. I'm going very casual because, spoiler alert, I am definitely on the blob. So we are going in a tracksuit. <laughs> that is just what's gonna happen. But yeah, all my makeup's done. I'm happy with it. All I'm gonna take with me is my lipstick so I can top it up if necessary. The rest of my makeup's fine. Is it my finest work? No, but I feel confident enough to go out and about and see a boy, so it's fine. Anyway, that's gonna be all for me today. I think this was kind of boring. I'm really sorry. I wonder if you've had any like, like one last juicy question. Who knows? Let me see. What color do you think suits you and choose wear for eyeshadow and clothes on a date? Black, black smoky eye, like black brown or black grey smoky eye and black clothing. Literally, I'll put up the outfit that I wore for my first date with this boy. It's black. What investment products do you recommend most? Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base and the Huda Eyeliner, it's so good. Are you wearing lucky pants? No Jane, I am wearing big, saggy, loose granny pants. Yeah. I'll finish on the saggy granny pant. No, I'll get more questions and then I will do like a proper just sit down Q&A while I do my makeup for work, probably like tomorrow. But anyway, I'm gonna piss off. Thank you so much for watching. I think this is kind of boring. I'm sorry, I'll probably delete it. Who knows? Anyway, I'm gonna piss off now and go and uh, subscribe if you haven't already. Give the video a thumbs up, please. And leave me a comment down below and I will catch you all on the flip side. Goodbye. Looks so much better, right? They cost like 99p. <laughs> They're so good. I just got home and I thought I would just show you how my makeup held up because it's quarter past 11 and I was just looking in the mirror there and I was like, everything looks so good. Obviously my lipstick's come off because we ate, oh we had the most delicious ice cream ever from this like fun little place. And, uh, but everything else looks really, really good on my face. And I just wanted to show you that it looks good. I'm so tired. Um, I just drove back. Like the eyes are still on, the glitter looks really nice, my base looks really good like considering it's been on for a while. Yeah I mean my under eyes look quite liney but to be honest they always look like that. I just cover it up with eyeshadow most of the time. Lashes are still on very very firmly. No issues. Yeah everything looks really good. I just thought I would show you in case you were interested as to how it looked. Oh, oh and like the eyeliner still on, like the green eyeliner is still very much apparent and I haven't touched, I have not touched anything up. I didn't even put my lipstick on. So yeah, I just thought you'd be interested in seeing how it held up. And now I'm going to take it off and go to my bed. Bye. Bye. <laughs>